things volunteers do. They most often participate in direct services like tutoring or mentoring, second in administrative like planning, events or even grant writing, and clerical and custodial operations. Two examples. The Mature African Americans for Mammography trains volunteers in churches to understand the importance of early detection and treatment. These volunteers in turn identify women who need screenings and navigates them through the screening process. And this is all about early detection and treatment of breast cancer. The second example is the Boy Scouts. Churches are what they call chartering organizations that are in partnership with us. They select and approve the leadership that is involved with scouting within their church. Interestingly, congregations are very generous in providing their space for programs, quite often for free, and when they do rent, they rent at below market rates. The next slides simply again turn things around and show the list of congregations that provide space, just space, in their facilities to support agency operations. There were 82 congregations named by Wilmington agencies, and it took quite an extensive amount of time for the respondents to set and go through this extensive list and name them, and this is an impressive number. Here are the names of the top congregations that provide goods and services in the Wilmington area. In the future, we'll have to know what are some of the needs of the agencies. And the top two needs listed by the agencies are financial assistance and emergency crisis. Agencies always are faced with clients who don't have money or are in some kind of an emergency, whether it's homeless, out of food, and they need to turn quickly to congregations. And so future planning should focus on addressing the needs that the community list has important needs. One of the questions that planners might want to know is do these agencies have something unique that allows them to work with religious congregations better than other agencies? And one of our most important findings is if an agency has a clergy member on staff, and 34% of the agencies in our study do have clergy members on staff, those agencies have a far more significant connection to the religious community. One of the most significant findings of this study was when the respondents were asked, had government supported any of this profound service activity that we uncovered in Wilmington and Newcastle County and across the state of Delaware? They told us almost across the board, only two agencies out of the 76 said that they received any government money for their partnership development with congregation. And one of those was federal government money and one of those was the state of Delaware, spear money. The most important question on a policy level that we asked them is, did the Bush faith-based initiative have any effect on the development of all of these service partnerships? And 75 agencies said no, it had no effect and only one agency said it had an effect. In other words, all that we've heard for the last eight years about the faith-based initiative really never talked about what was going on on the ground. Because people on the ground said that all of that policy talk and all of the public relations that went on about the faith-based initiative actually did not affect the reality of the extensive service partnerships that were developed in this community. There's not a community in the United States that can name the resources of its religious community, nor the needs of its nonprofit community. This is not a wild idea. If you just take a look at the United Parcel Service or FedEx Distribution Service, both of those organizations can tell its customers where a single package is from Topeka to Timbuktu, yet not one community in the United States 
can name the needs of its agencies nor the resources of its religious community. We can, with the will and with modern technology, blend the 19th century person-to-person -person contact that it takes to build these partnerships with the 21st century technology better use its resources to address its needs.